Hello friends, welcome to the video series on SQL practical question series. So here is another interesting question where we need to write a SQL to reverse the given input string without using the reverse function because the easiest way to implement this uh, uh, question is by using a reverse function but the expectation is we need to write a SQL without using the reverse function. First let me show you whatever the logic I am just going to follow so that it is easy for you to uh, follow the SQL whatever I am going to write it now. Okay, so the expectation is we need to uh, reverse the string. Uh, so I've just taken a sample string like welcome. We just need to reverse it. What I'm going to do here is that first I'm just going to convert the uh, string into a row of data. After that, I'm just going to reverse the data. Then I'm just going to aggregate it back. Fine. Now let me show you how to write this SQL. So here is the string. As I mentioned, it, the easiest way is to use the reverse function. First, let us execute this. So this is our expected output. But we need to write a SQL without using the reverse function. So let me just remove the reverse. So now what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to use this in a with class with let me say T as select welcome from dual select star from T. Let me select to the D. Fine. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to replicate the a number of rows as per the number of characters in the given string. For that I'm just using connect by level less than or equal to e in length of d okay so this will replicate as per the number of record or as per the length of the string now what i'm going to do i'm just going to extract the character from the string that means i need one character in each row so that i'm just doing d comma let me first put level now what happens is that let me print the level also here so what happens is that uh, from the level position till the end of the position it will print all the record that's why in the first record if you see from first position till end of the position it gives the record in the second row from second position till end of the uh, string it is giving so this continues till the last row but what we need is we just need one character right so you just put one the third parameter will say how many number of uh, strings you want to extract it from now we just got the uh, record in a row wise that is each character in a separate row anyway i'm not interested in the full string so i'm just removing it let me give an alias as yes here so let me give an alias as l for level now what i'm going to do i'm just going to select select s comma l from the actual query fine now we just got the record information so it's a matter of just uh, aggregating it back Fine. So for that what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to use list aggregate of yes within group order by, I'm just using L. When you say order by L, it just prints the welcome because that is the order of level. So when you want in some other order or in the descending order, let us put order by L descending. Now you can say here is our actual string, here is the reversed string. Okay, so in this example, I have actually used the with class because I am receiving many questions like uh, the, uh, why I am using the with class and there is uh, like so many advantages of using with class. Probably this may not be the right uh, example for that. However, there is so many advantages. So the same example I am just writing without using the with class also. So I have just already posted one uh, video separately on the advantages of with class and why I am using the with class in most of the uh, queries. The, the link is also given in the dis description. I would suggest you watch through that video so that you will understand the actual usage of the with clause and I would, I would recommend all of you to start using the with clause as much as possible. Okay, so here is the query. Uh, now let us see like uh, what are all the things we have achieved and by using what are all the functionalities of SQL. The first thing to convert the string into a row wise data, we are actually using the connect by class. So this helps us in achieving to convert the string to a row wise and the next thing is the uh, descending order we are achieving using the order by class within the group and the list aggregation will achieve help us to achieve the aggregating back in the order what you have actually specified the query i have posted in the link uh, given here the link is given in the descriptions if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question skill practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video